Good morning, friends. Episode three. So you're licensed, you're uh, thinking about getting licensed, and you're trying to figure out how do I build a predictable real estate business? Well, that's a great question. It's something you should really be thinking about. I think a lot of people get into the business and they say kind of what we discussed yesterday. I want to help people. You know, you get into it for the right intentions. And a lot of people don't think of real estate as a predictable business. And what if you shifted that thinking and said, actually, this is a very predictable business. So there are proven systems and models that can lend itself to predictability. So you wouldn't start a McDonald's franchise unless you knew what your profit expectation was and what the uh, likely expenses were for your salaries and the food costs and all that. And you wouldn't start a, a landscaping company unless you knew you know, how many uh, potential customers were in your area and what your expenses were. So think about it this way. You wouldn't start a business unless you uh, planned. And the best way to plan for your new real estate career is to start writing down how many people you know that know, like, and trust you. So those three things, know, like, and trust you. Because those people that already know and like and trust you as a person, you have to begin to get them to know, like, and trust you as a realtor, okay? And let's say that's 100 people. Well, the, the systems and models that we are taught tell us that you can expect maybe 10% of those people to do business with you or refer business to you in the course of a year. Now, a conservative approach might be only 7% of people. However, given that math and given that proven system, therefore you can expect seven to 10 deals in your first year just from the people that you already know. Now, the caveat is, is that you have to be comfortable interacting with them, engaging with them on a consistent basis, at least 36 times a year through phone calls, um, items of value, newsletter, events, um, what have you. So that's huge. Now, if you have 200 people, now all of a sudden you have a potential to do 14 to 20 transactions in your first year, which is a really nice business, okay? Um, if you're somebody who doesn't ha know a lot of people, then your goal is going to have to be to grow that amount of people as fast as possible and you better be comfortable or become comfortable talking to people that you don't know. So when I first started, I really enjoyed talking to people I didn't know, um, more so than the people I did know, all right? So there's many ways to build the business, but this predictability I think is imperative to understand, all right? And it'll really help you uh, gauge what to expect from your business in the first year. Now, my encouragement to you is nothing about your first year is gonna be comfortable. And you can either have success or comfort. You can't have both. So in order to be successful in your first year, you're going to have to get really comfortable being uncomfortable. Um, and I know that is simple, but it's not easy. Okay. Um, but go into this with the mindset um, of predictability. Understand the path is in the math. And really start training your mind. Um that it's going to be difficult, but it's going to be incredibly rewarding. So I hope this is helpful, folks. Uh, have an amazing day. Uh, we'll talk to you again on Monday. Live the life you imagine. Peace.